The chain rule is used when finding the derivative of a composite function. For example, this function can be separated into outer and inner functions. Notice that when we place g of x into f of x, we will be getting the original function. Here is another example of composite function. And lastly, this is a composite function as well. What I want to highlight here is that this function consists of composite function inside a composite function. Notice that tangent 2x can be separated into outer and inner function as well. In this case, we will be using chain rule inside a chain rule which I will be explaining afterwards, so stay till the end if you don't want to miss it. In this video, we will be solving these three examples by using the chain rule and here's the formula of it. But what exactly does this formula mean? It actually means that when we're finding the derivative of a composite function, we can let the inner function to be u, so that we can rewrite the function in terms of u. Notice that the inner function of 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 is replaced by u. To find the derivative, we first differentiate the function of y with respect to u. Then, we multiply it with the derivative of the inner function. Taking the derivative of u squared, obviously we will be getting 2u, and remember that u is our inner function, so we replace it with 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. In other words, we first differentiate the whole function by just using the basic power rule without changing anything for the inner function. That's the reason why we got this. Then, we multiply it with the derivative of the inner function. Don't worry, let us solve for this example now. First, we differentiate the whole thing while keeping the inner function unchanged. By using the power rule, we bring the exponent down, and we subtract the power by 1. After all, we multiply it with the derivative of the inner function. Differentiate 2x squared we get 4x, and differentiate 4x we get 4. Lastly, differentiate negative 3 which is a constant, we get 0. And we got our final answer. You might be thinking for this function we can expand it and take the derivative on each term. Well, it's correct and you can do this, but it's not practical when we have a large exponent as it is impossible to expand it one by one, unless you have that patience. But make our life easier, just use the chain rule. Now, let us go through the second example. We first differentiate the whole thing without changing the inner function, so we get negative sine of 2x squared minus 3x. Then, multiply with the derivative of the inner function. Differentiate 2x squared we get 4x, and differentiate negative 3x we get negative 3. And we got our final answer. Now, the last example and this is what I mentioned that we need to use chain rule inside a chain rule. We first differentiate the whole thing, but before that, we can rewrite the function into this. Multiplying with the derivative of the inner function. Notice that this is actually a composite function, so we use the chain rule again here. Differentiate the whole thing, we get secant squared 2x, and multiply it with the derivative of the inner function, which is 2x. We get 2 for differentiating 2x. Lastly, we rearrange this expression. And we are done. That's how we take the derivative using the chain rule. Comment below to let me know if you are struggling with any part of the explanation, or telling me where I can make improvement for future videos. I spent hours making videos explaining math topics, and all I ask for in return is simply to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.